it is this tool is a cloud tool cloud based tool so do you know what is a cloud maybe i will skip this definition last definition okay but we'll start we'll complete this one and then uh, we will uh, try to close it so do you know anything about cloud no sir, no, sir. okay cloud is very 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 advanced one man nowadays everything is cloud so the it is changed to cloud we need to start learning it cloud is nothing but okay so you know gmail na gmail yahoo you know that yes sir, yes, sir. Hmm. okay and uh, g drive you know google drive google drive yes, sir okay and all the google applications from your android android mobile you know yes sir hmm. so see okay so gmail we'll start with gmail okay you create a gmail account okay once you create a gmail account then you will start to sending emails you will be receiving emails so the emails will be there okay it will be there like gmail okay and once you open the gmail it will be like inbox okay sent okay something like this all the folders will come yeah, this one you know right yes sir yes, uh, now where the file is saving so see here you see uh, try to understand this one if you understand this one you see i see here you can see one file here you can see three files here okay so i am opening one i opened one mm -hmm. file here okay yes, introduction file so from I, my question is from okay. where yeah from where i opened this file i opened this file from my c drive or d drive it is there in my d class folder new batch folder so it is there in my system okay it is there in this system and i open this file from this system this point is clear right yes, yes, sir. Ah. so now you have one email you have 10 emails okay now you open one email today just open the first email so where this email file is storing is that storing in your computer local computer so email when you are seeing an email okay that is also a file okay forget about email okay so you you are dumping your data into gmail drive right google drive right every day you can make it's it a uh, copy uh, so when you make mm -hmm. a copy now when you sync your data to google drive calendar all these things photos and all where these files are storing you got the question in sir? system in google drive yeah yes sir. in system means which system your mobile is maybe you desktop see. or mobile mobile also sir no in that case why drive is required drive is nothing but google will take your files and then store that means you are not storing uh, it is not storing in your phone if you are storing in phone then drive is not required na no? it is in your memory yes, phone memory right so yes. when you say drive that means in google server it will be saving okay so see here when you are creating a account in the google okay google will okay so let's say your name is abc xyz okay so your name is xyz okay and you created an account today so with your account in google server some space will be allocated okay so the space is for for some space for emails okay for some space for photos if you upload any photos then the photos will go go and store there okay drive something all now calendar okay books everything is there okay if you see just to google now and then if you see applications you have so many applications so you will be providing some space in the google server okay let's say google server is there in america okay san francisco the server is there when you create an account in san francisco server the space will be allocated for your account now someone sent you one email okay the email will come to your account and it will store in this folder okay that's what you are seeing here okay when you are seeing something na okay so every time you are logging into gmail that means you are connecting to this server okay and you are accessing your data 
you are getting it ma you are getting this point yes sir sai kiran is that clear yeah yes sir yeah yes sir okay so here the main simple thing is okay hosting the word we use as hosting hosting means who are keeping the data who are managing the data okay you are managing by yourself or someone are keeping the data and you are just accessing the data whatever you are seeing these examples na you are just accessing it you are not hosting the data hosting means you are maintaining it you are you are maintaining a server keeping everything in your server you are getting this point ma yes sir yeah so the cloud na when you say cloud so let's talk about this is a simple example take a big company okay i have a big company kind of a bank and it have 1 lakh users and it is 15 years company so from 15 years okay this company have so much of data maybe like account details transaction details okay money details okay everything okay so now where they will store they will store in servers the servers is the place where the information will be stored right so in order to maintain this much of huge data they have a big infrastructure okay so let's say 10 servers are there okay and uh, two data centers are the data centers means you know data centers data centers are nothing but uh, it's a place where they keep servers okay 20 engineers are there dba database administrators are there okay okay 100 people are there 100 people team are there who supports the application so and two buildings for them okay one building is there okay to support this employment okay and for this 100 people okay 100 desktops and 100 laptops so this is how the company is farming it company means this is the one right so to maintain the data by their own they need to maintain this much of infrastructure this is where our it companies are right they are maintaining the data they so when you say server information and all they are maintaining by themselves the company is maintaining by themselves whatever the company we name na abc company or xyz company ic okay let's say icc bank okay so icc bank have this much of data so they are maintaining their by own they by their own that's why they need this much of infrastructure to maintain okay this is physical way of handling the data this is like some 10 years 7 years back every company used to handle their data like this this part is clear ma this is not cloud but this is physical this part is clear yes sir yeah now when cloud comes na 7 years back or something okay when cloud comes what they do is why you are making your burden okay so cloud i will just take so many clouds are there service now cloud is there okay azure cloud is there okay alibaba cloud is there okay oracle cloud is there and there are many clouds are there G, uh, what is that cloud google cloud google cloud is azure no 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 microsoft cloud is azure g cloud is also there google google also have some cloud that name i don't know but okay just say i'll say google cloud okay so these many clouds are there cloud means cloud services okay let's say our hero service now so when these people have this much of data na these people will come and say okay why you are maintaining this data and it's a very huge data okay give the data to us we will host the data okay and you access the data using a url okay so this is the cloud hosting this data by some other vendor is a cloud okay now see okay this this part is cloud cloud definition is clear ma yes sir yes uh, yes sir now un understand this one okay see here i am so service now dot com okay some dev is there so let's say this is icic something in real time na in real time it will be like this icicic the vendor the company name dot service now dot com okay <clears throat> like that we will be having it we will be accessing the client data using this url same like how you are accessing the gmail here also you are accessing your data so where the data is there service now headquarters is there in santa carla okay maybe 
the database is there in Santa Carla. Okay, so you are connecting to this first company. Okay, and then you are connecting, you are going to one folder. Okay, and you are accessing one thing. So let's say you you are oh, consider like this is a one email. Okay, or one photo where you stored in Gmail. Okay, so see I am opening this photo. Photo is nothing but an information. Okay, or your email. So consider like it is an email. So you went to the company uh, like the ser cloud service providers server. Okay, you went again to a folder and you opened one record or email. If you say it's a Gmail, you open a email. So you are accessing your data using a web browser. So this is what the second part in cloud. First part in cloud is someone will take the data, the cloud process. When someone means not everyone, ma. someone <laughs> means cloud providers, service providers. They will take your data. They will host the data in their servers and you means you means here the client the people the people from the bank you access the data using a URL. Okay, this is what the cloud is same if you apply if you start seeing things from now keeping this point in mind everything is cloud if you just open your Android mobile. Okay, so you have photos now you can upload the photos in drive that means the space will be not occupied in your local uh, memory, but everything will be uploaded into drive. That means you uploaded everything in Google Drive. That is cloud. Gmail, all your emails, where they are staying in Gmail server. Okay, so see, see things from now. WhatsApp is also there. Every day you can uh, sync your data, backup to your data. Right? So simple thing is not, okay, just remember, okay. Maybe if you want to understand the cloud easy way, okay, you are using a phone, Android phone, right? So your phone is configured with one Gmail account, right? You say yes. Yeah, yes, sir. Madhivya, you say yes. Yes, sir. Ah. Now the phone is crashed. Okay, you got a new phone. Once you got a new phone, what you do? You just give your Okay, email ID and like that same Gmail ID and password. Then automatically enter your data using WhatsApp data also will be coming back. Everything will be syncing, right? The same data was there in the phone, okay, in that account will also come to this data. But if you upload it into drives and calendars and all, right? The account, phone, everything, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp contacts, Gmail contacts, everything. You see in that one? Yes, yeah, so how they are getting when you are loading in a first phone your data like uh, contacts Okay, and all your backups and all will be stored in Gmail server When you use the different phone the same data will be synced from the same server because you are using you are giving the same Gmail account So the main point here is the data is storing in cloud or the data is storing in some other external servers Where you are accessing it. That's it how you are accessing here you are accessing using URL and in your phone you are accessing using an application Gmail application WhatsApp application. Okay, so this 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 is cloud maintaining your data not by yourself, but using a service provider. Okay, so service now is a cloud based technology where they will come and ask the customers to give your data and they will host the data service no people will host the data for that they will charge per year in the form of licenses okay this is cloud right cloud is simple now the definition is simple right yes or no so now yes, everything sir. is cloud if you start seeing okay android started with cloud so once android came before that before android nokia was there nokia normal there was no cloud system and all once Android came, everything is linked with Gmail account. So starts with Gmail account, ends with Gmail account. So everything of your data is storing in their servers. Right? That's why it is booming like anything. It is giving more, more flexibility to the customers, users. Got it, na? Yes, sir. Similarly, similarly, IT companies also are getting more benefits using cloud. Okay? Because of that, 
every any every company is moving to cloud nowadays cloud is a very advanced technology okay so why because they are reducing the burden keeping their data huge data maintaining the data is very costly and also they have to spend lot of efforts to that instead of that they give to someone else they pay for that it is simple ma okay i have five acres farm i give to sai kiran okay for that i will charge for from him like every year you have to pay this one if i want to do my own farming i have to spend lot of uh, efforts to that money efforts okay and main thing is convenient if i do if something goes wrong then it is very burden from burden from him if i give to him then responsibility on him na i am i am i can i can easy i can like i can sleep easily no need to like my brain will not make burden so we are giving our entire data or burden to someone and they will manage it for that we will pay for them so this is what cloud and service now is also cloud based technology okay and the next is something called integration integration is like connecting between two platforms okay for you it is little heavy i don't uh, touch this one now okay but in simple form tools will be there softwares will be there okay it means software applications na huh? so one application needs to connect with some other application there are some requirements will come where one platform one application should connect to other application so that 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 will be done with integration okay service now supports integrations okay that's 